In this no-code tutorial, I'm going to demonstrate uh, how you can do something really quick and really simple with this new no-code platform called toddle.dev. Uh, and as you can see here, they've got a really nice landing page and uh, kind of the elements you'd expect from a uh, website or web application builder are all here. Uh, and yeah, the no-code builder built uh, without code. Um, I'm going to launch in with a demo um, because you can do loads of different things with Toddle. Um, including, you know, build the next Airbnb, YouTube, or Slack without a single line of code. Um, but I'm going to focus on uh, something that would help me in my daily life, which is their web components. Basically, building a no-code widget that I can then embed in a website. So uh, let's go into, I've just launched up a, um, launched a new project in Toddle, and uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, on here, add in a new component and so I will call this uh, news because a component different to a page a component is what's required in order for me to later when I'm ready uh, and if I upgrade my plan I can export the component and this gives me a piece of JavaScript that I can embed in my website and this is very useful for me because you know I, I can get a long way with visual page builders uh, we run the Planet Noco website on WordPress but what if I wanted to have some sort of custom dynamic widget uh, right on my WordPress site, or indeed like my Webflow site, I could do it just there. Uh, then uh, this is what I can use, I can use the script here. And so what I'm going to demo in this video is how you can create a widget that pulls in newsfeed data, and I'm going to create a newsfeed for um, OpenAI. Uh, so uh, first thing I'm going to do is uh, add in a header. And there's a lot of elements here that will be very familiar to anyone who's ever used uh, a a visual page builder and so I'm going to say open AI news uh, and then I'm going to add in a uh, bit space below so let's say 30 uh, so it looks like that's added in some uh, padding down the bottom uh, and then I'm going to add in a div and inside that div, I'm going to add in a link because I want to link through to all of the newsfeed items. And I'm going to be demoing how you can use Toddle to pull data in from a third party API. That's how I'm going to get the newsfeed data. So let's add in uh, the link. Uh, and then I now need to add in my API. And so I can go in here and create a new API. And I will say this is uh, open AI news. I'm then going to go and use a service called uh, newsdata.io. Uh, uh, one reason for doing this is it's really simple uh, because you can basically create a search here. As you can see, I've done that saying OpenAI in English and you get your search query URL here. Now, I've signed up for an account, which means that I have an API key that's active and it's included in the URL. Uh, so I'm going to copy that and go back into my uh, Toddle project editor and paste and press enter. And Toggle does a really cool thing here, which is it extracts out all the different paths and all the different queries uh, needed uh, to generate the API call. And we can see that it's worked. We've got Feldman, the New York Times has an edge uh, in suit against OpenAI. So as a recording, there's currently a bit of a copyright battle going on over training material in large um, language models like OpenAI's GPT. So that's all good and set up, so I can close that. Now, I would like this div to list through all of the entries in that API call. Uh, so to do that, I uh, can either right-click on it and go for repeat, or uh, I think it's over in attributes. So I'll click here, and um, I'm going to add in a source of data and you can see because I've got my API call set up and it's all working I can say open AI news and then I have to find the right like level in the the codes that um, the web the news website replies to if I've got to find the right bit so I know that that is in data so I click on data and it's in results and then I now get a list of all my results and you can see that it's already listing through probably what is the first 10 results uh, and that's symbolized by the naught because uh, it's an index value starting at naught, counting all the way up to nine. So uh, I can go ahead and preview this uh, and nothing's going to happen. It's just, in fact, going to show that I'm repeating through the results. Uh, so let's go back and let's start adding in some data. So on the link here, 
I go and I go on to the formulas again. And instead of it just being a value, I go for the item because this is now the, um, the, the part of the data that's replied in each result. So I can say item and then I can say items title. And there we get all of the titles back. And, and just to point out, there is some repeat data in here because it's pulling in from loads of different news um, sites, including those that basically duplicate uh, articles. So don't worry about the fact that it's shown uh, more than one of some of these articles that is working fine. Uh, and then one other thing I want to do is go on to the the uh, a tag here the and add in the uh, make sure that it actually links through. So I'm going to click and now the yeah, temptation is to go here, but I'm not wanting to gather all the data. I'm wanting to go for an individual item that's being repeated. And so I can say items link and then I'm going to do something just to tidy up here. Uh, can I wrap this in a div wrap element? Yeah, let's wrap it all in the div. Uh, and then I can add in, uh, some space, some gap. Is that going to work? Is this the right place? Yeah, there we go. Um, and now I can go into the preview and let's click through and hopefully this will load in the article. Perfect. Um, so. I'm now at a point where I could basically publish it and I can embed this in my WordPress site. And this is going to be so, this is so helpful for me because, uh, you know, I couldn't build a plugin that does this. I would have to find a plugin, uh, maybe that, that gathers from an existing news API. But if I wanted to use the, this particular news data.io API, I probably wouldn't find a plugin that does that. So I've effectively built it's not a WordPress plugin because it's not going to end up in the WordPress plugins folder, but I have effectively built something that acts or presents to the user like a WordPress plugin. And I've done it with no code because this would allow me to embed a newsfeed into my WordPress site, uh, using just a few lines of script that I would get from the uh, export as web component. Uh, and it would appear just down here. Now there's tons more that you can do with this. We can add in attributes, which would basically be a way of adding in variables. So at the moment, this is a newsfeed of open AI, but what if I wanted to create a newsfeed that was maybe searchable or one that, uh, different pages on my website would show different, so, you know, the results of different search terms. Those are all things that, uh, we can explore with Toddle. Um, but if you like this video, if you'd like to see more videos on Toddle, please hit like and subscribe. It really helps us out. And you've got any questions, got any ideas, even got any apps that you've built, uh, with Toddle, um, please do leave them in the comments below. We'd love to check them out.